we were talking about what are the factors that helped me to 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 go yeah. to to change transition yeah out of this. Uh, the transition out of radicalism was was in gradual uh, 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 steps step by step yeah step okay. one was the first impulse when i was going to share in a crime and it's very different mark when you study it theor theoretically or when you believe it theoretically and when you go and feel that your eyes will be in direct contact with some other human being who might have suffering because of you so the the hmm. taking the theoretical violence into practice was the moment that started to make me feel, no, I can't take it. And in this moment, the previous teaching that I had, and this word, what does it profit a man if he gained the whole world mm. and loses his own soul, was not just one of the words that impressed me. In fact, my father, who was an agnostic, used to put it on his front desk in his hospital. He was an orthopedic surgeon. And he, it was the only word that he used to put in front of his desk. When I was a child, I, this was one of the very first words. What profit a man to gain the he, whole world and, and yet lose his own so absolutely so mm. this was the initial step so mm. i went one backward step and i started to 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 feel that i have to start thinking again some sort of critical thinking begins and i started to say to myself how can i approach this whole issue and one of the verses in the quran that helped me was ya ayyuhalladhina amanu you people who believe in god kunu qawwamina lillahi be honest to god شهداء بالقسط and say the truth ولو على أنفسكم if even if the truth was against yourselves أو الوالدين أو الأقربين even if the truth was against your family and your tribe so I decided based on these Quranic verses to 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 start to look at things from this heart that will tell the truth irrespective if it's against himself or or whoever. So I started to say to myself, why, why don't I try to, to do what the Quran said also to Jesus when he said to him, وَجَاعِلُوا الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Which convey the message that God will make the followers of Jesus praised for, 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 for forever. So I, I felt, why shouldn't I take this knowledge that I, I learned from Jesus and try to look to the Quran from a totally different perspective, from mm. perspective of love and trying to, to, to see what others didn't show me. Okay, this is an important point for especially Americans. Most Americans think the Quran is just violent because all they know are Muslims that burn American flags on news and they're shouting down with America and planes flying into buildings and fighting in the Middle East. So most Americans don't know anything about Islam, and they think the Quran must be of the devil, and therefore, and is violent. But you're saying, as an expert, and as a, a real lover of not only God, but a lover of his Messiah, you're saying that the Quran can be viewed in a very peaceful fashion. Absolutely. Just like the Bible. The Old Testament's full of violent verses. Even the New Testament it has violent verses. And Jesus himself said, I've come to scorch the earth, and I've come to bring a sword to divide mother and father. Now, if you took that literally, <laughs> yeah, it's, it or out of it. context, ah, it and that's all you said about Jesus, what would you think about him if you didn't know anything about of it? Of course, I will take it. If I said, Twafi Kamid said, I'm going to scorch the earth and bring a sword. Oh, he's violent. Well, oh. that's what Jesus said. Oh, my Christian friend, he did not. I said, yes, he did. Well, he meant something else. I said, yes, he did. You're correct. Yes. yes. But so why wouldn't you apply that same principle. You know, principle against verses in the Quran that are taken out of context by the militants and the radicals when men like you, Muslims yeah. who are struggling to be peaceful and see the better in the Quran, are saying, no, this is a contextual thing, maybe from a thousand, fourteen hundred years ago in history, or it's metaphorical and doesn't mean it literally. So there's two ways of viewing the Quran. You can accept the militants' interpretation as yes. radical which a lot of the Christianity does. They basically back up and support the militant interpretation, ironically, <laughs> or you can be uh, supporting the vast majority of Muslims as yourself that look at, they could take a different view of the Quran. Yeah, actually, the, to, to look to the Quran from a different angle can make huge difference. Like, I'll give you a simple story. Good, good, that'd be great. When I was young, I, I, I still remember this partic a particular moment that mm -hmm. I finished the prayer, it was Al-Asr prayer, after it, I opened the Quran and I started to read. And I was reading a verse 
in surah called surah at tawbah or section called at tawbah or repentance that said فَاقْتُلُوا الْمُشْرِكِينَ حَيْثُ وَجَدْتُمُهُمْ Kill the infidels or idolaters wherever you find them. Right. And my conscience, Mark, couldn't take it. I, I just felt it's impossible. How come I go and, shall I go and kill my neighbor because she is like not a Muslim or what shall I do? So I went to some of the radical fr- people I know. His name was Adil Saif. I still remember the names. <laughs> okay. And I asked him, what is the interpretation of this verse? And I brought him a peaceful verse. He says to me, no, 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 no. The peaceful verse is abrogated. Right. This is the only one we should apply. And we have to fight these people for the rest of, of our life. And I just, again, my conscience couldn't accept it. So I went to a Sufi, wonderful Sufi scholar. His name was Sheikh Shaban, like your friend. Yeah. <laughs> I went to him. I was young. And I went to Friday prayer. After the prayer, I went to talk mm-hmm. to him. I said to him, Sheikh Shaban. Tell me, what can I do with this verse? He put his hand on my shoulder and tapped it and said to me, my son, just be good with every human being. I said to him, but Sheikh Shaban, it's in the Quran. He said to me, which means in the day of judgment, you will understand it. It was a wonderful answer, but still, yet he didn't give me the theological base to, to deal with the text. I went to my father and his friends, and they are all atheists or agnostics. They have no clue about this verse. So later on in life, when I started to look to the Quran from a different angle, I realized, Mark, and you can go and do your research about it, that all the verses in the Quran, and I mean it literally, Mark, all, all okay, all. not 99.9, all, okay, that speaks about violence or, 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 or wars against someone like yeah. this verse, it used the expression fight, Al kafirin or the infidel. In Arabic, if you said al or the, you specify the meaning to certain group in history. You make it context. Not this, forever. Absolutely not. Only for this group who fought Prophet Muhammad and for his that early followers. Specific forward. That's group it. Only. If the Quran wanted to generalize it to later stages in history, like all he would have used the expression fight man kafir. Men kafir. Uh, if you said man kafir. It generalized the meaning to every time of history. I wouldn't have been able to sit here to speak about it. This is a fantastic nuance, but important. Important. If I was a child wow, and well, I have a Quran with all al or the with in red color, this is my dream to do it. And I don't know if you are aware that I just finished a complete interpretation or new understanding for the Quran. I just finished the first draft of it. Mabruk. If, thank you. And I, if, if you put all the al or the in, the, in red color, and you un- explain this to the young Muslim while they are reading it, they will never understand violent verses to be implemented at, at, in, in our mo- modern times.